But no, I got a secret. You can't you can't tell nobody. I refreshed, I refreshed, I renewed a uh my channel over on YouTube. My previous channel on YouTube was uh it was what's up uh Taylor dude? It was uh true crime for sh for a short little 6 months, like literally from like 100 100 subs to 5000 was true crime video shorts. Like, you know, the little one minute shorts. What I would do is I would do like Man, I was doing a lot actually. So it was like three a day. Uh but I would mash those shorts together into a long video. So I would have like a whole bunch of shorts and then the long video and then whatever the shorts whatever the theme, I would build like a story theme between the shorts. So each individual short, if you watched it, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, I mean, you would understand, like I would tell you the information in that short, you would get whatever that short's about, but added together, the shorts make a, a longer story. And I was doing that with true crime. And then at the end of that, I would have a themed, uh, rap song. So it'd be kind of like the song would match the story. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I liked it. Uh, but I just didn't, my heart wasn't in true crime. I, I could care. I, I mean, I don't, I, let me take that back. I do care about the people, but true crime is, is glorified news reporting. It's, it's, you're just spitting back whatever the news and the police, you're not doing anything extra. You're not, you're not privy to any extra information. You know, you're not going to solve a case. When was the last time a true crime YouTuber solved the case? My heart was just not in it. So I got off YouTube, I came, started gaming here on Rumble, and then uh, now now I'm, I'm going back to YouTube, only for one reason, I'm renewing my channel, but only because Google is still the biggest search engine there is, and my channel, instead of true crime, is going to be something that I'm actually very, very passionate about, where my heart is actually, and that is about... Uh, the Bible and our Father in Heaven. So, the channel, get this, you ready for this one? The channel is called, I'm Such an Idiom. You know, there's so many idioms in the Bible. I mean, I have content for, for days. So, like, I got a little list here. Like, if you've heard some of these, like, uh, apple of your eye, handwriting on the wall. Like, some of these, I'll, 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 I'll honest, like, this is why it's so cool. Like, this is the, why the idea of the channel is, is pretty cool. Handwriting on the wall. Everybody would think, eh, yes, it's, it's, a, it's an idiom. It's a saying. It's a thing, right? It's just, eh, there's no hand. What if there was actually handwriting on the wall? Whoa. But yeah. So like uh, a wolf in sheep's clothing. Uh, let's see. The skin of my teeth. Labor of love. Like these, these like salt of the earth. There's so much content that could be done. So uh, I'm going to have that one. I'm going to, I'm going to ask that. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to copy it over here to rumble too. So you guys will see it here, but that one's called, I'm such an idiom. And I, I restarted that over on YouTube. So don't tell nobody. <laughs>